So I just read um, about the Space Shuttle Challenger tragedy, and um, the first question is, what could NASA have done differently? And I think the number one problem that created all the different problems was time management. Um, the NASA managers, they were anxious to launch the Challenger because they had a lot of political pressures, a lot of economic considerations, they had unforeseen um, competition by the European Space Agency, and they had scheduled backlogs, scheduling backlogs, and so they felt like they had to get this done by a certain time, and that I think is the main problem, because if they would have had more time, they would have been able to test things out, been more thorough with making sure everything was working correctly, um, everything was doing what it was supposed to do, and because of the time, they didn't really listen to the engineers when they said it wasn't ready to launch. And so I think that time was the main problem and that if they could have done anything differently, they could have spent more time on making sure the engineering was okay and possibly getting new management that was more um, considerate to protecting the public welfare. And then the second question is what should Roger Voice Jolly have done differently, if anything? Um, and to keep in mind that his age and finding a new job would be hard and that he had a family to support. While I agree, like, that would be very hard to stay loyal to your management and, um, because you don't want to lose your job, but at the same time, this is seven people's lives on the line. And so, honestly, I think he did, he wasn't doing anything necessarily wrong. He did go to his managers and he did tell them that it wasn't ready to launch and that they should delay it and continue to postpone it. But I think he should have pushed harder because if he knew that it was not going to be successful, he should have done everything he could to make sure it wasn't going to happen because there were people's lives on the line. So that's my opinion. And then the third question is, what do you see as your future engineering professional responsibilities in relation to both being loyal to management and protecting the public welfare? To me, um, in my future professional responsibilities, I'm obviously going to be loyal to the management, but if there becomes a problem where the public welfare and people around me are in danger and could possibly lose their lives, my loyalty will go to them because people's lives are more important than being loyal to your company and the name and making sure it has a good name and everything. So that's my opinion. Um, if I was in this specific situation and I knew that it wasn't ready to be launched, I would have fought as hard as I could to make sure it wasn't launched, even if that meant losing my job. And if I was in that situation now with something at my job and I knew that the public welfare was in danger, I would fight to make sure that they were okay, even if it meant losing my job. So yeah, that is what I think about the Space Shuttle Challenger tragedy.